it's been a few months since John has released a new version of Majisk, but you can now install or update to version 26.2. So today I'll be going over all of the new changes that went into this release, while also showing you how to update your Majisk install. So we can see that there were a number of changes happening to Majisk boot with the latest version now supporting the ability to extract the boot image from a payload.bin firmware file. It also now supports CPIO files that contain character files while also supporting the ability to list CPIO content. Majisk Boot can also directly handle AVB 1.0 signing with verification without having to do it via Java. The socket for Majisk's daemon now has a fixed path in Majisk temp. And reset prop is another thing that received a bit of work with version 26.2 of Majisk as it can now print property context. It also has the, abil the ability to only print persistent properties from its storage, and it can now properly set persistent properties that bypass property underscore service. The Majisk SU binary now supports two different dash g arguments, with it working as both a lowercase and an uppercase. And it has the ability to switch the mount namespace to PID with the dash t option. Majisk policy received a few changes with this update as well. John Wu was able to fix Majisk's ability to patch extended permissions while also adding support for more syntax for those extended permissions. And it can now print out the loaded SE policy rules as well. Lastly, there has been some work done with the Majisk application as well, with the changelog mentioning that it can now patch the boot image after loading in the full ROM zip file. This seems like a big feature that could change the way some people install or update their custom ROM files. I could see this being useful with those who want to root their custom ROM update before installing it, rather than rooting the custom ROM again after the over-the-air update has been installed. The Majisk app also has the ability to preserve the boot.image file when patching Samsung firmware that uses the init underscore boot.img file. I'm also seeing reports from people who have a Samsung tablet saying that the minute plus long boot time has been fixed with version 26.2 of Majisk. These are the initial changes that are happening with this version. John could do some additional work with this update before it gets pushed to the stable build, but these are the biggest changes happening right now. This update is currently in beta, and you can try it out right now. We can install this update on devices that are currently rooted by first opening up the Majisk application. Then we're going to tap on the gear icon at the top right so we can go into the settings area of the app. And we're going to select the update channel to make sure that we are on the beta release of Majisk. Now we're going to go back to the main page of the app 
and you're going to see a prompt to update the application of Majisk first. So we're going to tap on update, then tap on install. You're going to see Majisk close and then see a prompt to open it back up. So you can now see that the application has been updated to version 26.2. And with that, you're going to see an update button within the top card here for the Majisk binaries. So we can actually update the binaries of Majisk by tapping on the update button here and selecting the direct install method. Tap on let's go and let the Majisk application update your Majisk binaries. And don't forget to reboot when all of this is finished so that the changes can actually go into effect. When the phone boots back up, we're going to go ahead and open up Majisk and make sure that we have version 26.2 installed via the top card here. Now, if you don't have Majisk installed on your device just yet, you can download this APK file for version 26.2 from GitHub and sideload it via a custom recovery like Lineage OS Recovery or TWRP. I'll be sure to link to this page here for those who may not be familiar with where to download this update. Version 26.2 of Majisk will likely stay in public beta for a week or two while John waits for the community to report any bugs they may have noticed. It will then get pushed to the stable branch once he is confident that there aren't any critical issues with this release.